another segment of my YouTube channel. It's a pleasure to have my next young man by the name of Ira Baptiste. Ira, thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel. Thank you. It's a pleasure being here. Thank you. So please tell the listeners who is Ira Baptiste. Well, I'm a Turks and Caicos Islander, born and raised. Uh, I was born in Grand Turk, uh, but I lived in Provo all of my life, Long Bay. So, uh, basically from childhood to when I went off to school, I was here at Turks and Caicos Islands. I went to Canada for about six and a half years. And then I returned home in 2017, mm -hmm. and I'm now employed in the private sector <coughs> as an engineering manager. And it's going good so far. Well, that's wonderful. I mean, are you, what made you to return home? Because you have an engineering degree, right? Yeah. So and you came back. A lot of people may not want to come back. What prompted you to return home? So honestly, so I'm going to take you back a little bit. Honestly, my thinking when I went, when I left here and went to Canada was that I'm going to stay in Canada. I'm going to really? work over there. I'm going to, you know, start something new there. But uh, I would say about halfway through, you know, my, my, my thinking kind of changed. And it was like the realization came that, you know, my, I feel like my country needs me, needs people like me to come back to, to further build this country because we're, we're a developing country. We're a relatively yeah. young I mean, country. Yeah. So I feel like they need the people that go off to come back to contribute to the, to the economy to, you know, basically mm -hmm. build up the country. So yeah. we do. Uh, <laughs> so I feel like me as a young person, I, I, I have to do my part in coming back to, and on top of that, I enjoy being home. Mm -hmm. You know, I enjoy, you know, I enjoy what I do. I enjoy being home and, you know, I feel like the future is bright. Well, I'm glad you returned to the Turks and Caicos Islands. Yeah. I see a lot of young people who have left the Turks and Caicos Islands. They have no intention of yeah. returning because they're saying, sure. what are they coming back home to? I mean, which is true. I mean, how do you respond to comments like that? Well, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a different road on that because first of all I understand why some would say that, you know, because uh, if you go off to do certain things and you come back, you know, this this it's almost like it's difficult to find uh, the perfect situation for you, mm -hmm. you know. So some people may view it may view it in that aspect, you know, but on the flip side, I think that. Uh, persons should basically do all within their power to make uh, the best out of whatever situation it is and try to, you know, because I, I, I've seen a lot of situations too where people come back and, you know, for a couple of years they work where they don't want to work, but I mean, within time they catch a break or they end up in a, in a better situation. And so I think at the end of the day, I think for the most part, mm -hmm. it, it, it works out. And I feel like we need to do our part in, 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 in that aspect. I agree with you. Yeah. For those of you who are watching, and I know watching the show and you, you, you're wondering, you're having doubts about returning to the Turks and Caicos Islands, you know. I think we need to change our mindset. And we complain a lot about, you know, foreigners coming and taking over. When we ourselves <laughs> are, are leaving the country and don't want to come back. So if you leave the country and don't want to come back, then who will replace you? We will have to bring people in. And yeah. so the best thing for you to do is to return to the Turks and Caicos Islands. And I would encourage people, you know, to get experience, yeah, to get definitely. as much experience as possible definitely. after they complete, you know, their college, you know, degree. And, and so when they return to the Turks and Caicos Islands, you know, they, they, they have, they're more marketable. Yeah. You have your degree, plus you have your experience. I would encourage that. But I encourage people to come back to Turks and Caicos Islands. I mean, we, we need you. And I think is one thing you could do for your country is to return back and 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 and, de and help in the process of of developing the country yeah. yeah because if we're not here to do it then who's going to do it right? exactly <laughs> now yeah. I a lot of we have a lot of issues yeah um with our young people we have issues with old people as well yeah and our young people feel sometimes that they're, they're being ignored they've been ignored by the politicians they've been yes. ignored by the employer they're being ignored. Do you think young people are being ignored? Me, as counting myself as a part of the young uh, population, I would say that I do feel like that most times. Really? You know? And 
You know, I'm not really, like, I, I, I talk a lot with, with friends and stuff like that, but I can't say, like, this is probably the most vocal thing that I've done. Like, you won't catch me on Facebook, uh, right. you know, sending a post or whatnot. Uh -huh. But uh, that's why I feel like this was needed for yeah. me, because I feel like I have a lot on my mind that I need to, you know, come forward. But in that aspect, to answer your question, I do feel like the, the you are ignored in a lot of aspects, mm -hmm. because if you really look at it, uh, and ask yourself, what, what, what do you want for the youth? How do you want them to, 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 to progress? And whatever your answer is, just ask yourself, how would they be able to do that? Because me as a young person, uh, right now, I'm dealing with a lot of challenges that I know a lot of my peers are dealing with, and I'm in a better situation than them. So I'm like, if I'm having trouble with this, like imagine, the other, you know, imagine the others, like, you know, it, it, it's ridiculous. And uh, uh, to touch on some of the, the issues, you know, a, a big one for me when it comes to, uh, when it comes to the youth, I think is empowerment, the word empowerment. Yeah. And, you know, that could come in many different forms, but the, I could touch on one main one that I feel like, you know, is the direction that we need to go when it comes to empowerment. And I would go with real estate mm -hmm. because that's what I view as, because uh, if you really think about it, that's what you basically work your whole life for. You work your whole life to put a roof over your family head and, 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 and to, you know? Well, for investment purposes. Ex yeah. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah all investment purposes, right? Yeah. You know, so that's the one that I can touch on because I feel like, uh, you know, more needs to be done to, to empower the youth in that aspect. Because if you look at the current situations now, it's almost, you know, it, it's so difficult. And for some, it's next to impossible to be in a position to, 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 to obtain, you know? So, like, but, so you mean more needs to be done so, so they could own the real estate? Yes, yes, to make it, to make, to, to make it, to make it more, to make it easier, to make it an easier process. Because right now, if you look at the situation right now, what has to be done for, for a young individual working, what has to be done for them to, 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 to get a house or a piece of land right now? You mean crown land? No, I'm or, not talking about- private land. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about private land because most of the land right now is private land. Like crown land, is, that's a whole different topic <laughs> that, that you want to touch on right now. But I'm just speaking in, in general, like as you know, not no lottery, none of that. I'm talking mm -hmm. about if I want to go buy a house right now, yeah. I want a house, I have to come up with what? At least 20%, 20% is the face value, but then you have to put the other fees and stuff on top of that. And if you do the random numbers, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. And, and on top of that too, the, 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 the other knife in your side is the current housing crisis that we have. Well, I would call it a crisis. I don't know if it's a, it probably that's the right a word, but no, yeah, I think because with, with, the, with the rent that's going on right now, you know, so you have, so you as a young individual trying to better yourself, you know, obtain a house or something or investment mm -hmm. property, like you said. So you're paying a, a ridiculous amount for rent right now. Yeah. You're making an okay salary, you know, and on top of that, you have to, you have, you have other liabilities and stuff like that. And you have to save this huge amount of money to even be in a conversation to, to obtain something like that. You so know? basically, you see the issue of access to financing. In, yes, in, in the, in that's, the, what I'm, that's what I'm going towards. And the yeah. requirements to, yes. to for the down payment, even yes. if the savings is not enough yeah, to, like, to like, buy like, the land of the house. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like the, 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 the numbers that, that, that you're going to run into is going to be almost next to impossible for the average person, for the average Turks and Caicos Islander to be in that position to, to obtain that. I got you. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? And and not to mention the ropes that you have to run through with the bank, even if you're in the position to, to do something like that, you know? And I don't blame the banks. The banks are just looking like they're gonna take minimal risk for maximum right. reward. So right. they're not gonna take the risk. So who has to take the risk? Mm -hmm. It has to be our government. Our yeah. government have to take the risk in their own people to, to empower them. So you think you the know? government and, you think the government should have like its own bank then? Because we think we have, there's a group of us who are trying to put a, together a credit union. Okay. Whereby, you know, persons, are members, you put in your money into the into the credit union, uh -huh. and and then you could borrow from each other. 
Okay. And likely the access to finance may be less. Yeah, than definitely something like yeah, that that sounds like a, a good idea along with others. But yeah, definitely that's the direction where we should be moving towards because at the end of the day, the banks are not gonna look at it as your tax and cake is the allies should have your best interest. Like they're not gonna do that. So, you know, we have to take it on ourselves to be able to put us in positions of power like that. So we have to look out for our own interests yeah. as a But people. I do like your point about the government probably has an, having like a development bank or, or yes. something like that yes. where you could have access and hopefully it would not be complicated as the commercial bank. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So that, that, that's a major point because I feel like that's a, 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 a topic or, or, or a situation that really can change not only your life but mm -hmm. your generation to come. Right. You understand? Right. Because in the current climate we have now, with, with, with most individuals, say if, if, if they go on and not even be able to obtain a house, mm -hmm. now they have children, now it's almost like starting back over. Got you. You understand? Mm -hmm. So that puts us so far behind, mm -hmm. you know? Right. So that's how I feel about that, that one now. Right. And Another situation, I, I, think, I think we should invest more in the youth. And not only with uh, capital or, or that, that, that. I'm going to tell you a quick story mm -hmm. about when I was in school. Because I'm, sure I'm not sure if the curriculum or has, has changed much. I know we did something the other day, but I, I don't know if the curriculum changed much from when I was in school. Mm -hmm. But it's only after I graduated and I was away at school and, you know, I started to think more business-wise mm -hmm. and more entrepreneur and all of that stuff, right? And we are a young developing country, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like there should be, it should be mandatory in our curriculum, some sort of business and entrepreneur courses. You understand? I agree. Because if we're young, like, like in, in my short lifetime, I've seen businesses come here, I mean, things to come here for the first time. You understand? Mm -hmm. Like, oh, this is the first time this is in Turks and Caicos. In my short lifetime, I've mm -hmm. seen this happen so much time. So I feel like if, 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 if that spark was there from, you know, the younger stage, I feel like we would be able to breed more of us mm -hmm. as entrepreneurs. We would be thinking more like that versus, okay, go to school, get an education, come back, get a good job, mm -hmm. you know? So, I agree. That's a good point. So yeah, yeah, I feel like we should, we should, we should, we should be pushing more mm -hmm. towards that. Like everybody's not gonna make it, but at least you're gonna spark something yeah. in, in, in more people to mm -hmm. produce more of that because and it's available. It's, it's exactly, good, it's a, exactly. Know. Because we're so young, we still haven't seen a lot of stuff yeah. that we can bring here. Yeah, and some of the things that we, you know, we're teaching. We're not even using it, but exactly. we know that we'll be able to, you know, be, if you exactly. teach the business, the entrepreneurship, and what else, the financial, exactly. intelligence, whatever, it, it will it'll Listen. prepare you, Listen. even if you decide not to go to college. Exactly. You, Listen, yeah. to even touch on that, that's a good point, because I could name off of my hand a few, uh, uh, probably a, a good bit of students that I went to school with that are entrepreneurs now and doing well, and I could guarantee you, Majority of them wasn't even like the top students in the class. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. They wasn't even the top students in the class, but they doing well right now with yeah. the entrepreneur. Yeah. You know, so yeah. that just goes to show that, you know, they probably had that spark from somewhere else or somebody else was feeding them that and yeah. they went on with that and pushed that. Yeah. And that make them who they are today. Yeah. Forget the grades. Mm -hmm. You know, they yeah. just went on with that. So that just goes to show that, you know, that, that could go a long way. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Now, what about um, our young people having issues with um, drinking and, and mm. having all of these children? Um, it's like they don't know the direction and where they're going. Yeah. I mean, they're That's just out there, just gallivanting yeah. it, if I want to use that word. How, <laughs> why do you think this is happening? Well, in that situation, I think that's more, that's more, that more has to do with probably the environment that okay. they were raised in. Okay. You know, if I had to, because even to go towards crime and stuff like that, right? If, if mo most of the crime, if you, if you really pin it down, you could pin it to a few constituencies, you know, like to be real about it, like, you know, so, so. So you think it's just a few people committing these crimes? No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. I'm saying 
most of the crime breeds in a few constituencies. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah that's areas. what I'm saying. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly, exactly. And most of these areas are impoverished areas. So what I'm trying to say is a lot of the results of what you're seeing with, 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 in respect to what you were saying just now, I feel has to do with the environment gotcha. that, that, that these persons were raised in. You know, they view stuff different than, you know, somebody who was raised in a better environment right. views it. So, you know, stuff needs to be done yeah. towards, I mean, towards that as, as well, because I feel like we could do more yeah. in targeting the youth, not talking about really, really young, in those areas, right. you know, and try, whether it be, you know, sports goes a long way. You know, yeah. we still don't have a lot of avenues for, for, for sp when it comes to sports. That's true. You understand? Mm -hmm. We still don't have a lot of avenues when it comes to sports. Like the most going on right now is football, but mm -hmm. you know, the truth is everybody ain't gonna wanna play football. Like no. people wanna play other stuff, but there's no avenues for, right. for, the, for, those, for so, those kids to, to and, and, and if you look at it like this, had we had more avenues for, for, for different sports mm -hmm. and, and programs, and I like talking about like solid concrete programs, uh, you know, you have coaches and stuff in these programs. Now the coaches, building relationships with these kids yeah. from the now they more like a mentor true you understand true. like stuff like that could go a long way because right. now you have this person whether that little boy don't have a father at home but now this is like a father a figure for him yes you a understand yeah. he messing up your coach come and look yeah. for you you know yeah. so stuff like that just you goes a long way i think we yeah yeah i think we're lacking heavy in, in, in that aspect you know because so, ever since i was small i haven't seen a solid program and, and a bunch of sports and up to now it's the same thing right I mean that's a good point you make and it, it makes a whole yeah. lot of difference we could have our young people preoccupied exactly um, with different things and, and when they become adults they could even perhaps become professional yeah. um, in these areas because we've seen some of our locals have become professional football players professional exactly. basketball yeah. players so that that's a that's a good yeah. point. Get, get, get scholarships for sports, like all yeah. type of stuff, you know, could be, right. it's, it's so endless. I know we sometimes rely a lot on the government, but what can we as individuals in the country do? What can the young people, why the young people don't come together and, and form some sort of um, committee or non-profit organization? Since a lot of young people know what the issues are, why don't they come together and, 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 and do the, something about it? The truth of the matter is, uh -huh somebody has to lead the way that's and, true. and 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 let's look at it like this that's true somebody has to lead the way mm -hmm. now you we, we could all say you know we all in our communities why y'all don't do this or why y'all don't do that mm -hmm. okay we said it but nobody done it nobody what happens now nobody making a move what happens now nobody making a move. okay it all falls back right mm -hmm. what happens now yeah. so that that's a good initiative and yeah we should you know we mm -hmm. should but i feel like if if, like I say, somebody has to start it, mm -hmm. and if nobody in the community gets started, it's gonna fall back on the government anyway. So, what I'm trying to say is, right. once they start something or some, start something strong, I guarantee you, everybody yeah. is gonna follow. And I now maybe it's gonna, it's gonna yeah. build so much faster because you probably have people in those communities feeling the way you feel. Yeah. I understand. Like, well, we should start this, but they need that initial, yeah. You know, yeah, 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 that's spot. They need that spot. I, I agree. You with you it's all about the spot. <laughs> absolutely right. Because it requires money. Exactly. It requires a lot of time. Mm -hmm. And so it'll probably take the government to do that. And yeah. then they will have to hire. Because some of these coaches are volunteers. Exactly. I think it's time we we invest in our young people. Mm -hmm. It's time we pay people to become full time coaches. Yeah. And and because it, people are volunteering a lot of their time yeah. and and so you're absolutely right it will have to take the lead yeah so i just put that all about the spot yeah you know, you know it's you're, good but you are you're absolutely the... you're absolutely right yeah all right yeah definitely definitely are there any other concerns or issues you have from a youth perspective that you think we need to to work on to make lives better uh yeah i mean well I have one, I have another aspect, but mm -hmm. you know, I, I didn't want to go too much in this direction, but it's okay. it, it just something I have to say. That's okay, you know? That's, this is fine. Because uh, I, I feel like it drastically affects us youth as mm -hmm. well as Adults. older people. Mm -hmm. And I think it's uh, political literacy. Okay. And that's understanding 
the government system. Because I feel like a lot of us today, mm -hmm. well, I know a lot of us today, mm -hmm. because I was one of them, but I, 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 I took time out over the years to self-educate myself mm -hmm. of how government works, mm -hmm. you know, what actually could be done, what actually, you know, needs to change, mm -hmm. how could it be changed, you know? Right. Like, I feel like a lot of us don't even have a clue of how the system works. And, right. and, and, and that, that works against us. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, you have people saying, oh, they should do this or they should do that, but you don't even understand what it takes to That's do right. this or to do that. Mm -hmm. You understand? Right. So I feel like people really need to take time out mm -hmm. to self-educate themselves yeah. when it comes to when it comes to politics and the government and, and yeah. you know, legislations and all, all of that stuff. Yeah, yeah, they need to really understand this stuff before, you know, yeah. before we can move forward because at that point where people really start to understand, yeah. then we could be able to better hold people accountable. Yeah. Make wise decisions. You understand? Yeah. You know, there'll be more transparency because you understand more of what's going on. And at that point, I feel like we could be able to move better in a, better, in a more better direction. I'm glad so, you raised that point because you're absolutely right. And yeah. And I believe we should teach that, um, you know, I remember growing, well, not me, when my sis, older sister, uh -huh. um, when she was going to high school, um, they taught them civics. Okay. And how, you know, it, which involves how government works. Because a lot of times we, we say, you know, we complain about the government. Exactly. Um, we don't understand how it works. Even some of the people who are running don't even understand. Exactly. Until they get in power and they yeah. realize this is not how it is. So uh -huh. that's a very good point. Yeah. That, that that's, a serious, that's a serious so point. We need though. to push. Yeah for that in our curriculum, I believe, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? But like you say, you taught yourself. Yeah. A lot of us are not going to yeah. do that. No. no. Um, but if we could but teach in the school, yeah, and the kids the law, go home to their parents, exactly. we tell their parents what they learn. Exactly, but be, don't wait for that. If you can, if you got the time, learn for yourself, because then you can teach somebody else, and they teach somebody else, yeah. and then, you know, it'd be, it'd be better off for all of us. You know? Well, I was a pleasure to have you on the show. I, I really enjoyed yeah. this conversation. I love to have you back. Really good. I, yeah. I wouldn't mind being back. Okay. I don't <laughs> really any great. remarks. Uh, no, I think we covered. I, I was spot on with everything I wanted to say, and you know, uh, I think we're all good from here. All right. Thank you again. Thank you. And thank you for watching the YouTube channel. Please subscribe. Drex will see my YouTube. Thank you.